It is power rankings time, folks, because it. Major League Baseball, things things are things are shaken up in the Major League Baseball world, and we are ready to take a look at where the Arizona Diamondbacks fall on our power rankings. That's all we care about here is where the D-backs are at. <laughs> uh, and the D-backs are up three spots, three spots uh, to fifth. They might be fifth on our power rankings, but they're still number one in your hearts. And, of course, still very little movement up there at the top. But, Jesse, explain the Braves being third. Explain the Braves. Can I talk about the Diamondbacks no, first, Derek? No, I no? need an explanation about the Braves being third first, and then we'll get to the Diamondbacks. Why did you have them moving up after uh, after what some could consider a, a tough week for them? Uh, they were okay this week. I mean, they were like four and two, something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess la- last week I took all the flack in the world for having the Dodgers above the Diamondbacks. How and now, dare you? now I guess I'm going to take flack for having the Braves over the Correct. Diamondbacks. Correct. Um, although as of this moment, the Braves and the Diamondbacks do have identical records. Uh, the Braves have a, you know, they, the Braves have a significantly better run differential than, than the Diamondbacks. And, uh, they're really banged up right now, but I think once they get Max Freed in particular back from injury, I think that really changes their outlook considerably. Fair enough. Uh, they are kind of uh, their their pitching staff in particular is uh, operating at about 60 or 70 percent right now uh, without Freed. Kyle Wright is also out for them. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, the Braves were the team I picked to win the World Series uh, coming into the season. And I still I still believe in them, even though things haven't been. Uh, I mean, things have still been pretty good for the, for the Braves recently. Uh, but yes, the Diamondbacks are ahead of the Dodgers this Let's week. Let's go! We're not, Top we're not five, having, baby. We're Top not having five. those conversations again. Uh, the Dodgers had a, had a bit of a tough week. They've lost six of their last ten games. Um, you know, I still think that when the Dodgers get healthy, I still think they are. Uh, a very formidable team, frankly, um, but they also have some some flaws, right? I mean, the Dodgers bullpen uh, has one of the worst ERAs in the sport right now. I think they have a number of guys who are underperforming back there. I, I'm a little bit skeptical that you know some of the relievers last year who were who were so incredibly good for them are just all of a sudden terrible. I don't really buy into that fully. Um, but yeah, the D backs, I, the D backs deserve to be in front of the Dodgers at, at this point, just given how the Dodgers have played recently. Yeah. And we got the angels moving into 10th place there. Uh, that makes three American league West teams in your top 10 now making them a formidable foe. Uh, but rightfully so the Rangers Astros and angels are all pretty good. The angels are seven games over 500 and they're third in their division. That's yeah. kind of crazy when you look around baseball and see some of these other divisions and 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 what the what the leaders look like compared to a few divisions. I mean, even the National League West that we predicted was going to be, you know, a very good division this year, especially considering how often we played non-division opponents. Uh, it's not really working out that way. The National League West, I mean, you got the Giants yeah. in third. The Giants have actually been playing some pretty good baseball uh as of late as well they so have. it's like it's like they're not only do you have the looming padres which you never know when they're going to catch fire and just be an unstoppable juggernaut but you have the san francisco giants also playing some pretty good baseball so the diamondbacks still have some tough opponents in their division right now they can't can't really let off uh let off the gas too much but uh the angels they've been very good uh and honestly also in the american league west uh sean DePaz's best team in baseball right now the oakland athletics so i mean yeah there that's, you go that's a, that's a go. tough that's a tough division right did there. you know that the oakland a's no longer have the worst record in baseball uh the kansas city royals no kidding for all of the flack that the a's have taken all season long about what an embarrassment that team is the kansas city royals actually have a worse record at this point at 18 and 49 and unfortunately for the Kansas City Royals, they also just lost Vinny Pasquantino for the yeah, season yeah. Uh, due to a, a labrum surgery that I think he's he's going to have. So uh, unfortunate news there for the Royals. But yeah, uh, you know, who, who knows, Derek, maybe the maybe the A's will pop up at number 10 or something. Don't look week. now, but this <laughs> is over 59 and a half wins future. It's not looking so bad now. It's, it's, it's not on looking the way so bad. Up. Seven and three in their last Everybody 10. Everybody was making fun of Damon before the season started. And now the A's are the hottest team in, in the game i've seen some people posting the. you remember the clip from moneyball where you know oh, yeah. oh yes <laughs> they're talking about the win streak yeah. right? the 20 game win streak and uh and so people have been posting that about it's, this year's A's team who knows Derek could you imagine kiss. what's crazy is that if the A's did win 20 games in a row they would still be 32 and 50 oh they my would God. still they're be just, absolutely they terrible. haven't won 20 games all season long yet so <laughs> 
I mean, going seven and three in their last 10 was the majority of their wins. And we are in the month of June. So, no, I don't know. I still don't know about your win total over there. But I am ready to completely give up on the St. Louis Cardinals. Time of death, uh, 155 p.m. <laughs> Wednesday, June 14th. Cardinals are 27 and 42. I think they might have lost. Uh, is that after today's yeah, game? Yeah, I think they lost again. Yeah, today. they probably need to start thinking about selling. So, hey, let's pick the carcass of the St. Louis Cardinals. Give us Goldie back. Give us Goldie back. There was a there was a story on MLB.com that ran today about why the Cardinals should trade Paul Goldschmidt and what teams might be interested in. Please acquiring tell me the him. Diamondbacks. Were the Diamondbacks were not on the list, which I don't think I don't think anyone who I, I don't know if you're not intimately involved in the Diamondbacks organization, you're probably not viewing the Diamondbacks as a candidate there because Christian Walker is already a pretty good first He's baseman. It's pretty not really. Good. Christian Walker is the best defensive first baseman in all Major League Baseball. Yeah, and Paul Goldschmidt is a pretty good defender himself. So it would be a little odd to bring in Paul Goldschmidt and have him DH all the time. Um, But, yeah, I mean, mean, Mike Hazen talked about a week ago or so that he wanted to add a big power bat into this lineup somehow, some way. I don't think the Diamondbacks are going to trade for Paul Goldschmidt, but maybe there's, you know, maybe the Diamondbacks would make that phone call and, and you know, kind of see what his market looks like. But yeah, the Cardinals, uh, things just have not, you just kind of kept thinking that things would turn around and they just don't. I still think that. I still think that. Yeah, like, it's like, know. yeah, well, surely the Cardinals will still come back and win the division. But as I said last week, the the problem is that the Cardinals, no matter how good their roster looks... They lose every single day, Derek. <laughs> it really <laughs> feels like a, they there, do. There comes a point when do. that's a problem, and you're 27 and 42, and you've dug such an enormous hole for yourselves that, I mean, they would have to be like 30 games over 500 the rest of the way in order to have a shot at making the playoffs. That's a pretty tall ask at this point. And it just seems like the Reds are red hot right now and really could end up winning that National League Central. Yeah. Just because, I mean, they have a lot of young, exciting players. Ellie De La Cruz has given that team an injection of like excitement and uh, that I, yeah. I can't even I can't even express. Like we've talked about him. We've talked about him potentially being a rookie of the year candidate. But, you know, we we said based on the numbers, we'll probably see him regress a bit. It doesn't matter. It's it's what guys like him. Sometimes guys have terrible numbers, but they are an absolute catalyst for a team getting better just because of their energy. 